Hello and welcome to this Friday edition of Beer Bros. Today we conclude with our last Pilsner of the week. Popping pills, popping pills. All week we've been popping pills. So for our third and final beer of the week, we have another Texas one, Southern Stars Spring Pills. Key's favorite brewery. And where are these guys located, Keith? They're located about 45 minutes away from us in Conroe, the, Texas. The Piney Woods They're region best. of Texas. Oh, and this is, I think, the lightest Pilsner of the week. You sure? Let's have a flight check real quick. So we have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's a dead heat, man. They're all pretty close. Yeah. They've all got, this one is pretty damn clear too. Very, very, it's a very, very tight race. And I don't know, that's, it's a photo finish. Okay. You might even have to go to like the chemist department. Okay. But it's got, once again, the typical straw colored, yellow, effervescent body with a white foamy head. Okay. So let's go ahead and give it a smell. This one did not foam up enough to give us, to enable us to do a crisp today, so. Again, similar to Wednesday's smell, scent. Mm -hmm. It's banana, airy. A little flowery. I'd, I'd almost flowery say hint. there's a little bit of a soapy smell to it. That might just be your cups. Did you use Dawn? You're soaking in it. Okay, so uh, again, like same as Wednesday's, kind of light, airy, flowery a mm -hmm. little bit. A touch of bananas or something, a little fruitiness to go along with the the other ingredients that are in this beer. So let's give it a shot. Okay. Clinky drink. Southern Star. And it's got a kind of bitter, drawn out aftertaste. Yeah, and I think it's, it has elements of mustiness and something that's kind of just has added flavor and texture. So this isn't anywhere near the Christmas of the other two beers that, that, that we had this week. So this is a little bit more of a lingering beer that we've we've got going on here from Southern okay. Star. Okay. So with that, which of the three Pilsners that we had this week is your favorite? Well, it's a tough decision because we have two that are very similar and we have one that kind of sticks out. And so just out of, out of curiosity, um, is there like a cheat sheet I can use? Or can I phone a friend? You can phone a friend. Okay. Do you, can you give me some numbers? Four, eight, eight, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Okay, Lagunitas. Okay, good. I just chose Lagunitas because I felt like it was the most finished product. It, okay. It had the, the best feel of a Pilsner out of all three of these beers. It was the most easily drinkable. So with that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next week for another set of beer reviews. Until then, Beer Bros out.